Did you ever wonder, there are some strange things that your body does and that you never knew were actually self-defense mechanism. We think that they're very normal because that happens to us on an ongoing basis, but actually the body does it because it thinks that you are in some kind of danger. Now, what are those strange things and what exactly is the danger? Let's look in this video. Deep Boy Uncover the hidden No, I'm not feeling sleepy. Do you believe it? This is the first strange thing that a body does and it's actually a defense mechanism. We do yawning all the time, right? When we're sitting in the class, when we're attending a lecture or when we're at office and work. So all the time we thought we yawn because we feel sleepy. Yeah, you feel sleepy and you yawn, but what is the main reason for it? You have the answer? <laughs> we keep yawning all the time when we are attending a lecture or when we are in office or when your wife wants you to have sex. <laughs> Look at all these people yawning. Does that make you yawn? So here it is. The actual reason why you yawn is that your body wants you to cool down when it's overheated or it's overloaded. <laughs> yes, the second one is sneezing. So generally we think sneezing is just a reaction of the body when we feel cold or cough or any kind of allergy. That's true. But the most important reason why our body does it's something different. So when our nasal passage fills up with all kind of allergens, microbes, dust or irritants, the body's way to kick these out is sneezing. <laughs> There's so much of filth on the screen. So body says in a way, get out you microbes. So the third one is stretching and the funny thing is that whenever you stretch especially early in the morning you tend to yawn along with it now yawning and stretching go in tandem most of the times generally people think that when they're tired they feel like stretching and like you're sitting in the office for long hours you feel like stretching right but that is not exactly true because when you wake up early in the morning you are not tired but you still stretch so stretching actually has a different reason altogether why your brain wants to stretch is very very different it actually prepares you to fight against something which it finds dangerous. What is that danger? The danger is whenever brain thinks that you have to do a lot of work in the upcoming hours, it actually wants you to prepare for it. What it does is it makes you feel the need of the stretch. What does the stretch do? Now stretching actually relaxes your muscles. It improves the blood flow and overall the result is that your mood gets uplifted. And that is what the brain wanted because when your mood is high, you can actually go through your day much, much better. And that is what body's defense mechanism number three is. The fourth strange thing which our body does as a defense mechanism is hiccuping. Now we all, since we were children, we just didn't know. We all wondered why I'm getting hiccups. Now, there are a lot of myths about it, how to treat it, but actually body identifies the right state when it's out of danger, it stops hiccuping itself. Now, why does body think that it's in danger and why this is one of the defense mechanisms? Let's see. Let's try to understand. So whenever you eat large chunks of food or you eat fairly quickly or you generally overeat, you actually can impact your pneumogastric nerve. And this is identified as a danger by the body. Why? Because it is connected with the stomach and diaphragm. Now immediately the result and reaction of the body is that you start hiccuping. So this is a defense mechanism of the body that is implemented by the brain so that it can avoid impact on pneumogastric nerve. Mommy, don't tell me the story. I want to hiccup. It's actually a defense mechanism. My body is defending me. I need to hiccup. It is good, mommy. Don't tell me the story. Defense mechanism number five, myoclonic jerks. It happens to most of us. So sometimes when you're sitting in a train and there's a girl sitting beside you who you don't want to think you're a pervert and then you're half asleep and immediately there is a jerk. Huh? 
Many times also it happens that you know you're sitting in the classroom or you're just about to sleep and suddenly you get a jock, you get a shock. Now, this is actually a defense mechanism by the body. Sometimes what happens is that when you're trying to sleep, the frequency of breathing goes down rapidly, the muscles get relaxed, but the pulse rate goes down very, very slightly. Now the brain interprets this as the heraldic death. In order to save you, it actually gives you a big jerk. That's the defense mechanism number five, which is myclonic jerks which is very, very different from the jerks that you see on the right-hand side of the screen. What? Uh, which topic we were discussing? What was I saying? What did I... Which mechanism are we talking about? Uh, is this number six mechanism or number seven mechanism? Who am I? What is my name? Why do I ask people to subscribe? Why should you like my video? Why should you like my video? Why am I doing this? Where am I? What am I doing? Why this mic is so close to me? Where am I? Oh no! <sighs> so defense mechanism number seven. It's actually loss of a memory. And we all experience it, right? Sometimes we call it short-term memory loss. Sometimes we think it's actually very natural. Sometimes we think we are not very, very intellectual and that's why we keep forgetting. Yeah. Sometimes we think that we didn't do a good job at school and hence we didn't develop our memory. All of that is rubbish. Now, in reality, what happens is that your brain identifies some of the event as very, very unpleasant and all the different events which are in integration with that event in your brain Ashley brains identify as dangerous experiences or dangerous memories and these dangerous memories sometimes a brain makes sure that it wipes it off so it stops the current in the brain and takes that part or that corner or that inch in your brain or in your memory completely away the problem with this is the brain doesn't understand sometimes when you forget the name of your wife actually it's the bigger danger what now we all experience various times excessive moisture around in the environment now, whether we are swimming or we are taking bath for a longer duration or we are playing in the water, we are going for a water ride, all times we see that there is wrinkling on the tip of the fingers, right? Now, this is actually a defense mechanism. And why? Because body thinks that it's actually a danger. With excessive moisture, what happens is that your brain thinks that the environment is very, very slippery. And it wants you to be capable of managing that environment, like gripping smooth surfaces. So what it does is, it puts wrinkles on your skin so that you can manage your environment much better manner. I told you mutant skin exists. I'm the founder of mutants. My skin put wrinkles. Uh, no, I'm not checking time. It's actually goosebumps. Now, whenever we see something creepy or we get nostalgic about something or we feel cold, we get goosebumps. Now that's the defense mechanism number eight, which is actually implemented by our brain to avoid the danger. Now the danger that body thinks it is in is actually inhospitable climate conditions. Now, what happens with goosebumps is that the body, the pace at which it is losing the heat through the pores of the body, it actually reduces. The goosebumps actually don't let the body heat go out that rapidly. I do so much of hard work. I do so much of research. You still come and write nasty comments on my video. Do I deserve that? You like my video, you watch it and you don't even subscribe. <laughs> Defense number nine. One of the strangest emotions, strangest things that we do, the body does, that is to pass tears out of the eyes. Since we were born, the first thing that we did was that we cried. And tears is one of the emotional defense that is very, very common amongst everybody. We see a movie, we get emotional. If we experience some pain, we get emotional. And first thing which happens is the tears. And many times people say that cry. Cry because the pain will reduce. And that's true. That is what might makes you cry is because it thinks that you are in enormous amount of pain. And this is one of the defense that body actually implements at that time so that the pain gets reduced. Many times you would have seen that when you are in pain and actually when you cry and the tears come out, 
the pain actually reduces and actually distracts you from that pain. So whenever you get something in the eye, of course you the tears work as a defense mechanism there. But one of the biggest and one of the most strange things that your brain does is it makes you cry. Now the tears, it actually produces that kind of irritation which distracts you from the pain that you're experiencing. And that is what your body wants at this time. Now it happens because the kind of irritation that we get from the tears is actually much more than the pain that we're experiencing at that time. And that is what the brain needed. So guys, if you really like this video, just comment here and like, put a thumbs up and also subscribe our channel for similar videos in future. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, okay, clean it. Do not sneeze on my screen. Let's meditate. Oh. If you like it, give a thumbs up to this video. Otherwise, I'm gonna sneeze my way out of the lake. Subscribe me! Subscribe me! Sneeze on your screen! <laughs> if you don't subscribe, I'll make all these guys sneeze along with me on your screen! <laughs> <laughs>